What's up guys welcome on back to TK's garage I know it's been a little bit but uh let's head out to IAA and get a walk around it all right guys welcome on in now first things first I know you guys always think I'm out of gas and it is true I drive my vehicles so much that I always run them down low and then you know whatever but we're gonna get some gas and we're gonna pop out to IAA. We're gonna see what is around. Yes, I was here. I'm not gonna tell you what I was doing here. I'll let you fill in those uh, blanks. But um, yeah, I had a very interesting morning. Things were crazy. There are some bright spots on my day though. Carvana's holding all kinds of friggin' L's. What are you doing? Wow. Gotta love people that have a turn signal on like they're gonna turn into a plaza, but they're actually going past that. You know. I can, you can't really educate drivers, man. Some people are just dumb. But anyways, we're not going to do a whole vlog today. I just wanted to let you know what the what the outset was of the damn of the video. That's got to be the hardest looking homeless white dude I've ever seen. He's holding his nuts walking down the street. All right, let's get over to IA and go look at some of these cars. All right, we got to do a quick mic test. Look at that, y'all getting all the behind the scenes shit. There goes the BMW, we're rolling, and let's go hit the yard. Yeah, I got the dead cat on, so that should help with the wind, but if you notice something else, yo, this is the first time I think you guys have ever seen me with a vest. I've been able to close, and yes, it is my TK's garage vest. That ought to tell you, your boy, like I told you, but they, I know the girls keep saying hot girl summer. It's about to be a it's about to be a, a mandingo summer. All right, that's all I get. <laughs> Somebody's gonna take that wrong. It's gonna be a Mick Mandingo summer. When I tell you, when I pop out, whew, they're gonna be like, damn TK. Yeah. Anyways, we're outside. Let's uh, let's go see what's available. It's crazy because we got a couple of different videos today. I also got to go to the BMW today to the dealer. I actually got a, uh, a press car that came in. That's right. You know, for you guys that have been following me for a long time with the tech channel and stuff, you guys know I've had a relationship with BMW for a while. And um, this is cool. We're going to go take a look at an i4 so you guys will get to see that in an upcoming video. Anyways, let's... Uh, hit this and see what we can find i'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised that we don't have a bunch of uh dust flying around out here today i'm guessing between all the high winds and everything it's been uh reduced <laughs> how's it going <laughs> oh man he was just he was just trying to get my attention he's like yeah i'm like yeah what's up man oh he must have something good for me to see. I'll have to go tap in with him in a little bit and see what he's got. I know, you probably thought I was gonna look at a BMW, right? <laughs> but no, up first today, we're gonna take a look at this Cadillac. And uh, this is a Cadillac DTS 2007. I actually liked these cars. I know they had engine problems and head gasket issues and all of that, but I actually liked the design language that Cadillac was coming for with this. It wasn't too crazy yet with the skinny lights and all the stuff they do now. This was actually really cool. Now, this one, let's take a look at the interior, see how she looks. Mm, not bad. Fairly clean. All the floor mats and stuff are here. Oh, no. I mean, it's dirty. I mean, it's, I just mean it's not disgusting, but let me, oh my God. All those farts in that seat, man. Whew. Oh my God. Oof. Oh, okay. I should have brought the Vicks. I didn't bring the Vicks today. 
Not like it usually helps anyway. I usually puke regardless. All right, let's see if, uh, let's see if she's got any power. No, she's dead. Oh, does it have a bad, oh, it's got a bad uh, ignition too. I've seen that before. I had an Envoy XUV that had that issue where the key would come out in the on position. Yeah, look at the dust though. See this stuff? Look at how it's caked. See that? It's it's not it's not dust from the yard. This is just like road dust, people dust, skin cells stuck on everything over all of this time. Like I don't know what that is. That's disgusting. Ugh. Hey, I'm not mad at the old man or whoever it was that had it. Maybe he was in here living his best life, getting some. Uh... <laughs> Maybe he was get, getting topped off in the Cadillac. I don't know, man. But. Oh, I don't know why it's here. It doesn't have a loss type. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I mean, I'm interested. I would buy one of these for sure. I 100% would. But I think I'd buy a 3800 GM like that before I would long buy one of these. But who knows? Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. It's on my watch list. I'll take a look at it, you know, but eh. Speaking of that 3800, we're going to go take a look at it now. I apologize for the wind in advance. I do have the microphone and the dead cat on. Hopefully it does enough to uh, stop the craziness. But look at this, man. Whew, this is a donated car, but it's been here for a long time. The reason why I can tell that is the sticker is dirty. Everything else on here is dirty. Like flying mud was all over this car. But this is the GTP. It is supercharged, supposedly. We'll pop the hood and take a look here in a minute. A supercharged 3800. I am all about it, let me tell you. Pontiac, I don't see any really... I mean, I see a little bit of ripples and stuff in that rear quarter. Nothing crazy. These are easy to replace, easy to source. Buy a couple taillights on Amazon and keep it moving. If she runs, I am definitely interested in this Pontiac. These 3800s are bulletproof engines. I don't care what anybody says, man. I've seen these things. You can even find videos on YouTube with holes in the block, throwing oil out, driving them miles to mechanic shops. I mean, they're ridiculous. Woo! Oh my God, I just got a bunch of farts in my face. All them farts just blew right up, man. Whew. All right, let's get in here and see what we got. Only 139,000 miles. That's not bad. Dashboard has seen better days. She's probably dead as a doornail, but I'll give her a shot. Yeah. We're still trying to get the uh, approval back, guys, to be able to jump cars out here. Unfortunately, I, I changed that recently. Um... And it's not just me, like staff is not jumping. Nobody can jump these cars. They're just, you can't jump them anymore, which kind of sucks. But, you know, things change, man. You just got to adapt with the changes. Oh, wow. The struts on the hood actually work. That's a positive sign. Look at that supercharger, baby. Woo! Okay, I'm interested. I mean, I'll take the risk. I bet you this car goes dirt cheap because nobody really messes with these, man. It's a 98 GTP Grand Prix. I mean, I could buy headlight lens. I could even refurbish these, but I could just buy brand new lenses, put HIDs in this bitch, clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Even put a paint job on it. Do something crazy. Throw some wheels on it, tail lights, and this thing will be gangster. This thing will be ready to go. Let's check the oil and whatnot and see where we're at good oil nothing sparkly in the oil i like it let me pop this cap we'll take a look in the case and see if i see anything crazy in there i know i won't but i'll take a look wow she looks good no issues that i see there huh that supercharger is kind of caked in oil or whatever i'm sure it needs valve cover gaskets that belt has probably seen better days like general maintenance man let's take a look at the trans because it's got a dipstick i want to know why it's here it's going to be here for a few reasons that's kind of a little burnt but not really it still has a tinge of red i like that 
over brand new fluid because if I see brand new fluid on the car at the auction, it tells me that there's probably a transmission issue with it. But this one is not bad. Okay, I'm gonna add this to my watch list. You guys let me know what you guys think about this Pontiac Grand Prix, uh, the GTP supercharged in the comments down below. I think I have a winner here and I don't think it's gonna go for a ton of money either. I really don't. I think it'll be fairly cheap and I think it'll be, you know, cleaned up with a paint. Like if I can get this car for 500 bucks and it just needs some general maintenance, like fluids, coil pack, whatever, right? Do whatever needs to be done to the car. Say I get the car for a thousand bucks, right? $1,500, really nice paint job. I say really nice for Mako, but $1,500 paint job, wheels and tires. I'm probably looking at another two grand. So I'm like 4,500 in, tail lights, um, headlights, whatever. I could be like 4,500, maybe five grand into this car, and, but I keep it though. This is not a car. I know you say it's not worth that. This is a car I would keep for a while because it's pretty well sorted. I mean, body lines and everything look good on it some gaskets and a few other things yeah i think we could do something with that let me know what you guys think all right hear me out before you before you say tk i'm clicking away from the video because you're looking at another damn bmw hear me out this is an e60 um a lot of bmw purists thought they bmw ruined themselves when they came out with this me personally that my bmw e60 the m5 the v10 was probably one of my most fun cars i've ever owned um, I absolutely love this body style and the car itself. And this one took a nice little hit on the front. You can see the dent there in the hood. Luckily, these are very easy to, uh, to source for parts. And I'm going to guess this is probably a 550, right? Uh, I'll have to pop the hood and see. It might be a 550. I don't know about them ain'ts on the back window. Let's take a look inside the car. Oh, it's a manual. See, look, this is automatically already a win. Like, it's a six-speed manual. This is automatically a W. Does she have any power, though? That's the thing. Let's look and see if she, I know she's probably dead as a doornail, but yeah, she is. Let's pop the hood and see what we got here. Would love to know what this thing is. It is an eight, it is a 550. Big V8, manual, whew, love it. You know one of the biggest issues with these though? Let me see if I can hold this thing up here. Ah, you know what, I'm just gonna hold y'all right here. Where's the lens, there it is. Let me hold you guys right here, whew, that wind. Let me see if it'll let this hold it like that, there we go. Boy, these caps are a bitch when they go bad, man. They're one of the hardest things to friggin' open. Nope, she's good on fluid. Things that, yo, I'm immediately checking that because that's one of the first things in a 550 I'm looking at. Too bad I can't get her to run. Ooh, the box is blown or busted open. What the hell? Ugh, that's not a good sign. I love these random wires that are crimped and stuff. Yeah, I'm good. That's enough. <laughs> if you're a BMW guy, you know exactly what I mean. Like, I'm good on that. I'm 100% good on that. No thank you. Hopefully this dead cat is doing its job. But if you're a BMW guy like me, then you know, like, what vehicles... Like, when you start seeing certain BMW things, like, random wires and shit, you're like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to pass on that one. So, uh, damn, this wind, boy. Whew. We've already looked at this in the past. Same with this. But there is an X5 over here with my name on it, which I know you guys are going to be like, damn it, TK. It's not the only thing I'm looking at, though. So, chill out. We're good. Relax. This one's got the, the reliable engine, too, the three. The uh, three liter inline six. That suspension is effed. Yup. 
they broke a bunch of stuff in the front suspension. They must have ran something over. It's a collision, though. Well, I guess you could collide with a, a speed bump at speed, I guess. Yeah. Yep. She's got juice. And it is an M Sport. You can see by the key. Let's see if... Uh, <clears throat> Let's see if she runs. It's got brakes. That's a positive. Oh, yeah. The wheel. Oh, yeah. The wheel's done. Chassis stabilization. Yeah. She's got issues. She's got issues. I like this steering wheel. I've been thinking about changing the steering wheel out in my 540. I don't know. She's got some issues. She's very clean, though. I don't know what it would take to, to fix all the suspension. Probably more. It's probably why the insurance company totaled it out. Probably more than it's worth. But there you have it. Yeah. Sad day. Damn, I keep banging the damn camera. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying something different today, too. I'm actually... Normally, I use, like, the iPhone 13 Pro or the 13, but today... Or the GoPro. Uh, but today I'm using the SE because it was just pocketable in my pocket. Didn't plan on being here, but because I was coming out here to BMW, I figured, F it. Let's, uh, let's get a walk around in while I'm out here. You know, let me get a couple of easy looks at some things before Friday, right? Oh, you can even see me in the reflection here on the Range Rover. Hi! And yes, I know, look at this. My vest, it actually fits. Ha! People ain't gonna know what to do with me come summertime. I'm gonna be so arrogant. <laughs> at least I'm honest. Whoo, look at this Lexus. Damn. What is that? Oh, man. Wait a minute. What is that? Yo, did all of this damage happen from a blown tire? Wow. Blew the tire. Lost control. Probably hit a Jersey barrier or something. Finish him. It's over with. That Lexus is done. Damn. All right. The only other vehicle I really give two shits about that are out here today is this Challenger that we're walking up on now. That's right. Had a little bit of a little boop boop in the front. I love that somebody spray painted a star on the hood. That's interesting. Um, but... And it looks like somebody was already sanding the body like they were going to do something with this. This is going to go fairly cheap, and I'm going to tell you why. Right there. See that says pedal? <laughs> somebody from pedal is going to be tired of my shit eventually. <laughs> but no. For real, this is going to go fairly cheap. And this is a good, for all intensive purposes, body to do a project. Now I know the back window is missing. I know that it needs a lot of work, but hear me out, hear me out. What if, you know, somebody may work for Dodge and they had access to a Helifant motor and they wanted to get a car that looked like an absolute beater and put a Helifant motor in it. That would be pretty funny, right? I think it would be hilarious. I think it would be hilarious. So I'm just looking at a fender here. Probably I'm replacing that hood. That hood's trash. Coolant stuff in the front. I don't even care about the motor. Replace that fender too. But the rest of the car looks fairly serviceable. I'm going to be honest. The rest of this Challenger looks fairly serviceable. Like I could do something with this. I really could. It's got the lock and unlock. Oh, the exhaust is in here. <laughs> we don't care about the interior. We've got the damn thing. But that's very interesting to me. Something that we will take a look at here in the very near future. So uh, you saw it here first. Stay tuned. And I know you're like, TK, you should never. You said you were never going to buy anything from Pedal ever again. Well, nothing that I expected to run. <laughs> I'm not ever buying anything from them that I expect to be a running and driving car. You're right, 
We've seen this Cadillac before, before somebody gets in my comments and goes, TK, you didn't look at that old Cadillac. We've seen it a bazillion times here. Oh, there is another Grand Prix. And the reason why I'm looking at this other Grand Prix is because I'm looking at that other one and I think I can get that one fairly cheap. And there's another one here that's in a little better condition. And I'll add both to my list and I'll tell you why. You'd be surprised. If that clapped out one pops out first and people get into a bidding war for it, they'll bid, lose, and then get off the auction not knowing that there's another one right there coming up. And this one's actually in better shape. I'm gonna bid on both, don't get it twisted. But I figured, let's take a look at both. This one seems to be cosmetically in a little bit better shape. All right, this is the GXP. This one cosmetically looks to be a little nicer than the other one, but I don't know if it's mechanically nicer. See what I'm saying? This one's going to need tail lights too, but again, they're very easy to source. I like the quad. I like the quad pipes. Looks like it needs tips though. All right, so coming to this side, we look good. A little bit of a bit of a little thing over here in the door don't know what's up with that let's take a look at the interior now remember the other one had leather seats this one may not and it may not be a GXP even though they have it listed as such this one has cloth seats okay so not a red flag but whatever very comfy cloth seats now this one does have 132,000 miles on it, so less miles. Okay, not the football coach, but less miles in terms of mileage. Okay, very nice. Let's take a look under the hood. Now what we wanna see is a supercharger tied to that 3800 engine. You'd be surprised, I, you, you know, it's not just the Mopar community where people be up badging, putting Hellcat badges on friggin' SXTs. Prime example, regular old fashioned 3800. This is not supercharged. It's just a regular old 3800 V6. Nothing wrong with it, but there is no blower on this engine. So, you know, it's not gonna go for a ton of money, but cosmetically, this does look nice. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind bidding on both. We'll see what happens. There you have it. Huh. Now I could be wrong. They may have made a GXP that wasn't supercharged, but I don't think they did. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe it was a GTP. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to go back and look. But the one that's supercharged with the blower on it out front, yeah, we, we definitely want that. 100% we want that. I don't know what it's gonna take for Mustang owners to stop buying Dodge products. Please stay with your Mustangs. We would appreciate it. Signed, all Mopar owners. Okay? Just just please stop it. Stop, stop it, stop it. You can't handle a Mustang. What makes you think you're gonna handle this? Now, full disclosure, all Mustang owners are not incompetent drivers. I know several Mustang owners that are probably some of the better drivers you've seen. But uh yeah. Looks like all these Teslas have been here. Since the last time I was here, the only new one I see is this blue Model Y. Looks like the headlights are falling in. Oh, nope, we've seen this one before too. I remember this one had the whole wheel ripped off. And my beautiful i8 is still here. Love that car. Well, I'm not seeing anything else super exciting that's grabbing my attention. Um, just not. Huh. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this IAA walk around. I know not a super long one, not an hour long, not two hours long. Just trying to get your appetite wet for me getting back into doing what I'm doing. We're not going to get into I, I just said a pun and I'm going to leave that alone. But um, yeah, man, it's been cra crazy, crazy few days, crazy few weeks. Um, I'm excited to get back to just getting back into the auction. And now that we have everything set with the 
with the office and yes there is a shop coming here to las vegas um, i'm excited to get back to getting a couple of projects and one of those is the eos which we're going to finish if you didn't know we actually won the other eos here and uh, yes it does need the engine and whatnot replaced and we will be pulling that motor out of the eos from north carolina i just got to source it and ship it here and then uh, that's going to be a series all on its own we're going to finish but uh yeah we're going to go ahead and get out of here i got another video to cut for you guys today at bmw with an exclusive car i mean some people have probably already had their hands on it but it'll be the first for me and i know a lot of you guys are going to be like tk is going all electric <laughs> no no i mean at work we are writing up all the cool pr stuff and they are using people like myself and other people to come up with these man isms for the electric cars and the electric muscle cars and i gotta be honest with you there's a lot of very interesting stuff coming very soon uh from dodge i'm telling you now it's it's uh shocking so that's why i'm very interested to see what bmw has on the table and Maybe you guys will get to see that in the next video. We're going to go check that out. But uh, major shout out to uh, IA for allowing us to be out here. But before I go, I want to talk to you guys about something. My Ridge Wallet. I haven't talked about them in a while. And, and again, sponsored but not sponsored. Um, they were a sponsor back you know, a, a while back. And I just wanted to talk kind of a little bit of an update on how this thing is held up. Now, this thing is supposed to hold like 12 or 13 cards, something like that. And uh, clearly, I'm well outside of that. And I cut it down today because I had it like this. I had it like this far open. It was ridiculous. I had probably a good 35, 40 cards in here. Now, Ridge does not recommend that you put that many in here. It's just a testament to the durability of this damn thing. And um, I love it, man. You can go check it out. My link is still active if you want to go check it out. Ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage. I'll give you a little discount for checking these out. And uh, I absolutely love it. I can fit all my, my cat card, driver's license, all my credit cards in here. Eh, put a little cash or whatnot here on the back. And maybe an important business card or two. And uh, keep it moving. I thoroughly enjoy it. And um, I wanted to give you a little update on it because I haven't talked about it. I got this thing, crap, a little bit over a year ago, I think now. And it's been my uh, primary wallet since. And, and it's held up. I mean, I put this thing through the ringer. No cap. Anybody would tell you that I beat on this thing. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So go check it out. Ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage. Made a shout out to them uh, for sending this to me back last year. And I appreciate the time that they were a sponsor here on the channel. I don't know if I, I don't think I get commission on those, but you get a discount. So go check it out. But uh, with that said, um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching today's video. I'm going to go over to BMW and drive some electric stuff. See, this is why you hang around to the end of the video. That's an interesting 392. Very interesting. I like that blue color, though, for sure. Huh. Just a frame, huh? And a rear end. Whew. Somebody stripped that joint. This is clean, though. Pretty basic, but clean. Escalade, eh, nothing special. There's the Mustang with the supercharger and the uh, busted undercarriage. And then we have a red Challenger, older body style, like that. Very clean. Ugh. Ouch. Fixable, but ouch. Rear end axle. You'd have to cut that whole, everything from here all the way down. That whole thing had to be replaced. Oof. Everything else on it looks clean though. I gotta be honest. Everything else looks exceptionally clean. Hmm. Huh? This is why you hang around to the end of the video, guys.